Welcome to CSTV Live. We have oodles of new things to discuss today. That's right, Dylan. Let's dive right in to see how those seniors are feeling as they swim out of school today. And make sure you stick around to learn about our attendance policy and the rest of the big events coming up for your year. Hi, I'm Dylan Patterson. And I'm Sky Pate. Boy, the end of the year really snuck up on us this time, didn't it, Dylan? You're right, Sky. I really do feel snuck up on. Now it's time to free up some parking spaces and say so long to those seniors. Let's go to Derek and see how those seniors are feeling. In the future, I see myself attending Aquinas College and then probably going for accounting or possibly going into the med field, like maybe travel nursing or I haven't like, fully decided yet. I see myself traveling. Uh, I'll be traveling to China in September for about three and a half months. Then uh, when I get back for a few more months, I'm probably just going to be working. And then uh, I'm going to Jamaica after that. So I'm going to be traveling a lot. Um, I don't know. The hardest thing in high school is passing all your classes and getting all your credits before the end of the year. The hardest thing about high school would be probably just dealing with the drama. I mean, a lot of people just talking smack and, you know, trying to get into your bloodstream and just, you know, trying to get you wild up sometimes and, you know, you just, just got to, you know, look forward and just, you know, stick your head up and, you know, get through it. The teacher that influenced me the most was probably Justin Harden. <laughs> um, I spent, like, a lot of my high school career with him in, like, extracurricular activities and also as a teacher and even in middle school doing high school productions here. He was a big help and helped me be ready for high school. I would have to say my favorite teacher is Mr. Bree because he's just so energetic and just makes you want to learn because of how much he, you can just see that he loves to teach and it just makes it easier to pay attention in class. I didn't, I didn't do any sports or any clubs throughout my high school, and I kind of regret it, to be honest. Uh, I really wish I would have joined football, because that was something I've always inter I was always interested in, but never did. I particip participated in golf for four years, and then football for four years, and then basketball for only two years. The class that helped me the most for my future, I think, would probably be personal finance and business math, because I didn't know how to do any of that stuff or what any of that stuff even was. So that's nice. <laughs> I would say my, u my most useful class would have been personal finance. I would recommend that class for anybody, just because it teaches you just so much about, you know, banks and credit cards and you know how to how to deal with money you know spend it the right way it makes you it makes you look at money a lot different than just a dollar bill some advice I'd get, give to the underclassmen is I would tell them to like make sure they turn all their work in because it can really hurt their grade in the end especially when they're trying to grind it out in the crunch time and they don't have or they're gonna get a bad score on their exam and possibly not do good in the class underclassmen some advice I'd have for you, don't stop in the middle of the hallway uh, with your friend group. That's very annoying. And uh, like I said already, like, you know, stick your head up. Drama through freshman year and sophomore year is pretty bad. But once you get into like the upperclassmen and senior year, everything just kind of starts to settle down. Yes, I think I speak for everyone when I say I'll miss those seniors. Not sure I'll miss you as much, Dylan. Batters up, let's go to Paul on Sports Desk. Swinging a home run, it's your local Cedar Springs sports anchor, Paul Kraieski. Starting off with Major League Baseball, the Detroit Tigers are playing the Cleveland Indians today at 110. The outcome of this game is looking like the Tigers have the favorite. In other sports, Patrick Reed recently won the Masters Tournament back in April, shooting 15 under. Which, being a golfer myself, that's only average. Also back in April, tennis player Rafael Nadal won the men's single in the Monte Carlos Masters. Now over to Jacob Meredith with CSHS Sports. 
With the end of the school year, spring sports are now wrapping up. We first asked students how they felt about the season. Uh, I feel about the season that we are doing pretty well. Um, I have a strong team. We are all made up of a different skill set. So each one of us benefits in the team a different way. Well, my season's been going pretty good this year for me personally. And as a team, we uh, aren't in last place uh, like last year. So we're doing a lot better than we have in the past. Our season's been going pretty well so far. We've beaten some teams that we weren't supposed to, and we have a really good like team bond. We then asked about their feelings toward their team. Nothing in particular. Um, the season has been going pretty well for us, even though it's ending really soon and we'll be going into districts. Um, being my last year, uh, I just want to make the most out of it and have a lot of fun with my teammates. If I had to change one thing about last season, it would probably be I would uh, practice golfing holes more than we did rather than just going to the range because I feel like playing holes is more helpful because of in a match you're playing holes obviously you're not going to the range and just hitting shots for fun. I like a lot of the girls because the upperclassmen have been really welcoming of like the new freshmen and like the un like sophomores on the team and we've all gotten along really well so far. Finally, we asked them if there's anything they wish they could change about their season. I love my team. Uh, we're all family. Uh, even though we are all made up of uh, each different grade, uh, we have one freshman, I believe two sophomores, three juniors, and three more fresh or seniors. So we all kind of fit together, and it's just really great that we all have this connection with each other. I, I like my team. We're pretty well bonded. I mean, we all are friends outside of school or outside of golf, so like it kind of helps. Like when you're practicing, you can always like give each other like constructive criticism and just help each other out as much as we can. Um, some games I think we could have played better and acted better as a team. Like one of our games we played Lowell and Northview and both times we are kind of just like we weren't like our team we weren't our normal selves and with that we wrap up spring sports with districts just around the corner thanks Meredith and by the way that dude in the orange shirt is one good-looking guy our boys and girls track team just had their conference meet and are now preparing for, for regionals this weekend Good luck to all of them. Softball and baseball both have games coming up tomorrow. And then girls soccer has an away game today and then a home one Friday. So come out and support our, all of our spring athletes and always, and as always, stay classy Cedar Springs. Back to you Dylan and Skye. Thanks Paul and Bianca. Aren't sports fun? Indeed they are Skye. I personally, I don't play a lot of sports and I haven't seen the sun since 03 but CSTV sure keeps things interesting. Speaking of confusing things, how about everyone's confusion on this attendance policy? Make sure you stay in your seat and aren't absent for this segment on our attendance policy. Going to you, Nate. As we near the end of the year, the absences are adding up, but what are the consequences for these? To explain our attendance policy, here's Mr. Byronwald. To our attendance policy is a progressive t attendance policy, meaning that um, if students receive eight or less absences, then they receive the grade that they've earned in their classroom. Um, and it doesn't matter at all what they've gotten on their final exam. However, after eight absences, so for the ninth absence until the twelfth and through the twelfth absence, um, after that point, a student must uh, get a 78% or better on their final exam and be passed in the class in order to earn the actual um, credit in the class, or excuse me, the grade in the class. Um, if they don't get the 78%, then they just get credit. And then at the 13th absence and any more after that, a student must take and be passing the class and also pass the final exam to receive credit. Uh, However, there are some exceptions to the policy. To explain, we talked to Taven Gardner. 
Uh, I have a lot of absences, like 11 or 12 in my first hour, but I go to the doctor a lot because I'm a diabetic, so it's different. Uh, so like normally what I have to do is like, I just go to my doctor's appointments throughout the year and like stuff like that. And then at the end of the year, I go to my doctor and like they go back in their records and they get each one of them accounted for. And then when I bring them to the office, they just deduct that from the amount of absences I have. Absences affect sports in addition to academics. If you miss even one hour of the day, you cannot practice or play in a game. This is why attendance is so important. For CSTV News, I'm Nathan Van Campen. Wow, that was really informational. The clouds really cleared in the sky for me. Speaking of weather, let's go to our new and improved weatherman, Zach. Thank you, Sky and Dylan. So, hi, I'm Zach, your meteorologist. As you can see in our forecast, there is nothing really happening on our radar. Now let's go over to the forecast. So for today, it's going to be 78 and pleasant, 78, and the next is going to be 74, and then 70, 74. So we're going to be sticking around in the 70s. So we're good. Back to them. I'll take anything but snow. Good thing winter's wrapping up, because there's a lot of summer things we still need to plan for. Let's see what the events coming up are. <laughs> on to you, Cade. With the end of the year on the horizon, students plan for the last events they have this year. Over to Kane Dingman with the final events of students this year and what they plan to do. Uh, for Memorial Day, me and my dad are probably going to go look for some girls. Memorial Day break, uh, my family and I do plan on probably going up north and camping up at River Ridge with my grandparents. Uh, I don't have any plans for Memorial. You know, it's just gonna, it's just gonna happen, I guess. Uh, I don't really have any big plans for Memorial Day break, but I do know that my family is gonna go up to my cabin and we're gonna get the boat out on the water and go fishing. Uh, for the AP test, I feel pretty good. I took the A push exam on Friday and I know I did good on that one, probably at least a three. And then on Wednesday, I have the AP Lang exam, and that's going to be easy, you know. Uh, my AP testing, I will be taking on Wednesday. Uh, it's going to be AP Lang. Uh, Mr. Stark has prepared each and every class for that very well. Um, and I feel that I will have a decent score to get the AP credit. Uh, I'm really confident about my AP testing. I feel like I've worked hard. I feel like I'm going to earn this five. Uh, we're going to see how it works out with the perfect score, though. That's certainly the uh, ultimate goal. Uh, for final exams, I feel pretty prepared since I have a lot of easy classes like stats, and then I just don't have some exams in some classes. So, yeah. Um, other than my AP testing, uh, I'm not quite sure on which ones I will be taking because we have final grades going in. Um, but I do feel pretty well prepared because I chose uh, classes for this year that I have done really well in and will pass my exams. Since I only have two final exams, I um, would say I'm pretty prepared for them because they're not really hard classes and I feel like I'll ace them and then be on my way to college next year. Uh, I feel very prepared for my exams for the other classes, uh, especially having that free period for AP World to study for them. Uh, yeah, nothing's really going to be that challenging other than this AP exam on Thursday. I am actually really excited for the senior all night party because some of the people that will be there I won't really see after high school, so it'll be a good chance to see them for one last time. Uh, I'm super excited for it. Um, We've all been kept in the dark, so I'm really excited to hang out with the 2018 um, class and have a bunch of fun. So, do you believe you'll get any awards on awards night coming up on May 30th? Uh, I do believe I will. Uh, I've kept my GPA up, so I believe I will be getting some academic awards and with uh, a athletic awards. Uh, I've done really well with softball, so I hope to get some awards for that. Uh, I think I'll get like honor roll because I've gotten it the past three years, so I don't think that'll be a problem. But other than that, I don't really know what other awards there would be. 
I can't wait to see all those girls that Josh Allen picks up. And breaking news, senior lunches today happening both A and B in the middle of fourth hour. And it's going to be a great one. I know it. And also, let's give a great Red Hawk shout out to our seniors, Bianca, Sky, and Paul, and Zach. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, you're happy, happy and you know, know it, it, clap your, your hands. hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, CSTV will probably show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Just remember, it's a great day to be a Red Hawk. Goodbye. <laughs>